Well, gas prices continue to go up at stations across Winnipeg, many sitting above a buck 63 this morning. And it's happening right across the country. It has the Canadian Taxpayers Federation calling on governments to provide relief at the pumps. This morning, we are bringing in Franco Terrazano. He is the federal director for CTF. Good morning. Thank you for being here. What exactly are you looking for from different levels of government? We're looking for tax relief both at the federal level and the provincial level. I mean, these prices are very painful. And one of the things making these high prices more painful is the high tax bill that Canadians are paying at the pumps in Manitoba. All the taxes combined, it's nearly 40 cents per liter, which is through taxes. So we're calling on the federal government to scrap their carbon taxes. Uh, provincial governments can also reduce their fuel tax bills as well to provide some much needed relief for struggling Canadians. Of course, changes around the carbon tax going into effect April 1st in Manitoba. The federal backstop applies in full. Do we know what this could look like actually at the pumps come April 1st? How big a change we could see? We do. So it's the federal carbon tax is going to go up to 11 cents per liter of gasoline diesel. It'll be going up to about 13 cents per liter of diesel. Now, this will be the third time on April 1st that the federal government has raised its carbon tax during the middle of the pandemic. But the Trudeau government says it won't stop there. By 2030, they want their carbon tax to be nearly 40 cents per liter of gasoline. And one thing we have to talk about is what other countries are doing. During this pandemic, we've seen South Korea reduce their gas tax bill by 20%. India, Poland also reducing fuel taxes. Even the United States are talking about gas tax relief. So while Ottawa continues to raise our tax bill, we're seeing other countries provide their citizens with much needed relief. I took a look at the website for our uh, Crown Corporation here in Manitoba, Manitoba Hydro, this morning, and they talked about a little bit of a change that people will see if they heat their homes with natural gas. Uh, beyond cases like that, and then also at the pumps, what other impacts will we see come April 1st for consumers? Well, it's home heating is also going to be impacted as well because the carbon tax hits natural gas. Um, come April 1, it'll be about 10 cents per cubic meter of natural gas. So what we're seeing is we're seeing the carbon tax make these tough times even more difficult, right? Punishing us at the pumps as drivers and also punishing us when we need to heat our homes. And of course, in Canada, many Canadians need to drive long distances. We need to heat our homes to stay warm during these winter months. So we really are seeing the economic pain of these carbon tax hikes. We are facing a, a climate crisis, and many advocates say that cities need to do a better job, provincial governments as well, in, in moving people towards more sustainable forms of transportation. How do you think the government should address the climate crisis? Well, the problem is, and this is what we have to address head on, is that the carbon tax is not an environmental plan. It's a tax plan. And we have seen the data over years now. British Columbia has had the highest carbon tax in North America, but emissions continue to go up. According to the government's own data, emissions have gone up 10 percent since 2015, despite the massive carbon tax in British Columbia. During the first year of the federal carbon tax, you saw emissions go up there. And of course, we have to remember that Canada makes up about 1.5 percent of global emissions. So even if the federal government brought all of our industries to a screeching halt, which would cause so much pain, it still would not be doing anything to help the global uh, environment. Plenty more to have on this conversation. Unfortunately, we are out of time here. That is Franco Terrazano. He's the federal director for CTF joining us this morning. Thank you for being here.